Hi guys, and welcome back to Simply Spiritual. This is going to be a reading for New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2020. General reading may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest. And characters in the story can be reversed, vice versa. So, this is the last day of 2020. Uh, I think we were all pretty excited about that. I know this year is going to be pretty uh, wild <laughs> with people celebrating because it's like, woohoo, thank God. Not that it means it's over, but this year's just been ridiculous. Anyways... The one thing I want to say first, I talked about the end of my last video, if you watched that. Um, I've been kind of channeling New Year's Eve for over a year. Um, I thought it was going to be something last year. What ended up happening last year was my papa passed away. And I did know he was going to die, not because he looked like he was, like, I just randomly just had, like, an intuition that he was going to. And, and no one thought it would have been any time soon. I mean, he was obviously older, but, like, no one thought it was going to be then. And I just had, like, a very strong spidey sense the last time I saw him that that was going to be the last time. And it was. And there was no reason, really, for me to think that. I it wasn't the last time I saw him, but it was last time before he was in the hospital. Anyways. Um, point is, I've been, I've been thinking that something would happen on New Year's Eve. I don't know if it's just me or if it's collectively. And, um... If it's up to my papa, I know for me something's going to happen. <laughs> so, because uh, he's a jokester. So, all right. Um, let's see. What do I start with? Let's start with the romance angels. All right. What's going on for New Year's Eve for the collective? What do we need to know? What's going on for New Year's Eve? wedding someone getting married on new year's eve the situation involves marriage maybe you meet the person you're going to marry reconciliation <laughs> i knew this was going to start out good um someone from your past is returning to your life now this does not have to mean Someone from this lifetime, this could be a past life soulmate. This could be someone you've been married to in every past life. This could be someone that you've been trying to marry in every past life. But those are some good intense cards to start out with. Anything else? For New Year's Eve for the collective. Alright, I think that's it from that deck. Uh, let's see. What do I want to use? with the scythe or whatever you call it this is unexpected <laughs> so so far we have wedding reconciliation and something unexpected i just have something random we could meet someone at a wedding if you if some people get married on new year's eve i don't know i don't know that i would ever do that but anyways um something unexpected <laughs> because what else oh god This is Clover. Luck. Happiness. Unexpected luck. Unexpected luck. Alright. Man. Meeting a man. Unexpectedly... Coincidentally, there was luck on your side, basically. Okay. Wedding reconciliation, unexpected luck. Okay. Uh, anything else here?
home. Home is a feeling, not a place, correct? You could meet the person that makes you feel like home. So I'm like wicked, like, I always pull like certain numbers of cards from each particular deck. I mean, I literally, like, I have OCD, like, diagnosed, I do things in fours and eights and all that. And I'm not, whenever this happens, like, I'll shuffle a deck and like, it's not giving me the right num number of cards. Like, I just feel like I'm supposed to put the deck away, even though I've gotten like, not the number of cards that I want. <laughs> and that's happening right now and like all of these decks I'm like oh, I'm supposed to put the deck down I'm like but it's not my it's not the right number when that happens I feel like it's <sighs> to me it's always something that kind of brings you out of your if the reading is going to be something regarding kind of taking yourself out of your comfort zone because I'm struggling right now because I'm like There's, that was the only card that I needed in that deck and I'm like oh, I want to keep going but there's nothing else in there I don't know I mean that's my own problem but <laughs> Just saying. Usually that means there's something about this that's going to pull you out of your comfort zone. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Hit the face. Palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. I'm going to sneeze. I'm feeling it again. I'm like, I'm supposed to put this deck down. I'm like, <laughs> I really feel like I wasn't even supposed to pull this. All right, we're not going to. We're going to put it back. It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> it's definitely going to be one of those situations where it's something that's going to make you very like, whenever this happens, it's like something to do with the reading. It's like, let's make her as uncomfortable as possible. All right, what's up with this unexpected thing that happened? What's up with this unexpected thing? The rider. Someone unexpectedly arrives. Wow, love call. Let's go. Okay. Got it. Okay. Any more information about this unexpected moment? Swans. Soulmate, twin flame, the one, deep soul connection. Unexpectedly, your soulmate, your twin flame, your one arrives. All right, guess you're meeting the one tonight. <laughs> or the one comes back. Okay. We had the luck card, right? God help us. The one that makes you feel at home. The one you're going to marry, your twin flame, your soulmate, your whatever you want to call it. Okay. All right. Mm. Tell me more about this, this situation here. It's not a word. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling very, like, discombobulated right now. I'm like, what? Like, uncomfortable. What, all right, what's going on here? Anything else? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. All 
I'm just going to say this quickly. If you watched my reading from yesterday, I talked about it feeling like a trick. You may be like, what? Did just just really happen? Okay, I knew this was going to be a good reading. I just knew it. Unexpectedly, the person you're supposed to marry comes forward. And you're like, hold on a second. This has got to be a joke. Although my papa would play a joke on me. I don't think he'd play a joke about that. <laughs> I can hear him laughing. <laughs> All right. The fairy godmother. It's not a joke, it's a gift. It's not a joke, it's a gift. The person arrives. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I knew this reading was going to be good. I've been waiting to do this reading all week. It's Tuesday when I'm recording this. I couldn't wait to do it. I was like, I really want to do this reading. Um, you know what's funny? I put this deck down earlier. And I was going to pull this card, but I was like, I'm not feeling it. I just pulled up the deck again. And the same card came out. Mountain. You have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is the time to adapt. This is time to adapt to circumstances. If you decide to climb, remember to take one step at a time. I'm going to clarify this. Let's look at this mountain. snake this is you in your mind so when i pulled the mountain i got like a visual in my head of like someone like being like this is a joke and like sprinting up a mountain like it's like you feel like there's a moment it feels like it's probably only a moment but there's some aspect of the fact that you just want to you want to you know how like if you, okay, this may happen, okay, you know how, like, both people walk, two people walking, and then, like, both people end up going the same, they, like, one's gonna go this way, one's gonna go this way, and then they both end up doing this, 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 and they, like, do, 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 do a little dance, right, to walk around each other, that's what this feels like, it feels like you're like, avoid, 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 but, like, you keep running into them, like, not, like, I don't know. That's what I'm getting from this. Like, avoid, 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 avoid. And it's like, I give up. <laughs> don't try to, what that card was saying is basically don't try to make it complicated. Accept the fact that this is the one. Oh, God. Time. It's perfect time. Roll the dice. Oh my god. The swans again. <laughs> Seriously? God, what the heck was that? Is that confirmation? Um, literally, the ones arriving. Wedding, reconciliation, unexpected, rider, swan, luck, home, love call, Fairy Godmother, it's like, what? 
needs to go back on here. If I pull this hangman card in reverse one more time, I don't do reversals. And I don't, I, this deck is all over the place. I don't organize them. I just shove them back in and do whatever. This continuously comes out in, re in reverse. And I don't do reversals. The wait is over. The wait is over. Anything else here? Strength. It feels it's like, all right, you've, you've had strength. You persevered. And now, I don't know why I'm doing this. I keep holding, and normally I'd put these on top of my other cards when I'm like pulling a spread. I've been putting these over here. I just put them both over here. It's like, that's the past. I don't even know why I did that. I never do that. If you've had strength, you've waited, you've been patient. Here's your reward. It's not a joke. You're going to get everything you've ever wanted. The star. All your wishes come true. Like, I feel like I want to cry. Like, it's like, all your wishes are here. It's like, you've worked hard. This isn't a joke. Here it is. It's not a joke. It's... I'm telling you, my papa's doing this reading. Guarantee you. <laughs> it's like, it's not a joke. Stop. It's deception. It's not deception. It is a wish. It's not a trick. It's a gift. This is not a trick. It's not a trap. This is your wish. This is a gift. Literally, wedding, rider, swans, swans, time, unexpected, reconciliation, home, love call. Luck. It's time. It's here. It's not a joke. Wow. Okay. Anything else? Anything else can tell us here? Uh oh, what is cat? What are you doing? Anything else? Can you stop? Oh god! Any final thoughts here? Okay, now I'm feeling discombobulated. This cat needs to get out from under my chair. Any final things here? I'm feeling like... Right now. Like I can't even... There. Boss CEO. The person that comes in may have like a very big presence... Like, maybe they are a boss or CEO. This is muscular. Oh, he's playing with this toy. Here I am yelling at him. Um, this person may have a big energy. Where they feel like, you feel like this around them. You feel like, like, it's like, it's it's a lot. Oh my god. Can this get any crazier? First, we have more unexpected. Celtic knot. <laughs> Unconditional love, legendary, divine union, eternal love, infinity, love of a lifetime. Celtic knot is here. Anything else? Hmm. This keeps coming up and I don't know why. Oh, I know why. Because we're talking about this. This person makes you feel like home. But also, I don't know why I never take this card. I get frustrated with this card because it's like, this card comes out for me all the time. And I'm just like, I don't, like, <laughs> anyways. This person can make you feel like home. But it's, it's also, you could be building. I mean, this could be the person you end up having a home with, a family with. So that whatever family a family means to you, and have to be children. 
the firefly. Now, this is the type of relationship I want, right? Illumination, chemistry, inner fire, soul spark. Someone very exceptional, magic, attraction. Someone that sparks your soul, soul recognition. Someone from your past life. We had reconciliation, right? Past life soulmate here. So a deep connection. This is going to be a deep connection. This isn't, isn't just any old connection just to have a connection. This is something legitimate. This is what you've dreamed of. This is the type of connection you've been searching for your whole life. Alright, give me two more cards. The stork. Transformation change. This is like a rival of something. Can't be pregnancy, but it's just, it's the birth of this. It's the birth of a new chapter in your life, really. The wheel, destiny, fate. What's meant for you is coming. Like seriously, the one is here. It's not. A, it's not a joke. It's not a trap. This is what this feels like. Oh man, that was intense. All right, I think it's going to be all for today. Um, hopefully, everyone has a lovely New Year's Eve, and hopefully, this year is better. Not that it was terrible, but. Not my favorite. <laughs> Not my favorite. <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. And I hold on. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.